Longleat have teamed up with the Fit Cheetah Project to help with the conservation of cheetah. So our amazing cheetah here have been putting their paw prints in sand and then we've had a member from the project graph their paw prints. You can essentially identify the cheetah from their back left paw print, which means in the wild, once they've sort of collected all this data and used the captive cheetah, they can confirm that it's it works well, basically, and then in the wild they can use it to help identify cheetah. These footprints, these images are then um, scanned into the computer and I use the software on them so that the footprint identification technique can A, distinguish between two subspecies and B, more importantly even, uh, can tell me if two cheetahs are related. And if that's possible for cheetah, it's possible for other endangered species as well. Another way to monitor species in the wild. With one footprint we can get so much information and that which is exactly what, what the native trackers have been saying for years to us. It's all in the footprint. It's really important that Longleat partner up with projects um, for conservation and the cheetahs are really endangered and they need as much support as possible. So if Longleat can offer it by using our cheetah footprints then we're going to do as much as we can to try and monitor and help protect the wild cheetah. Cheetah populations are massively diminishing and it's a way for um, conservationists to know the population size, whether cheetah are suffering, um, whether uh, the same cheetah are using the same territories and how successful they are. There are now under 7,000 in the wild. We used to have, around about the, the year 1900, we had about 100,000 cheetahs and now there are less than 7,000 left. The more we monitor the species, the more we then know at what stage they are. Are they endangered? Are they not endangered? What kind of help do they need? Wildlife conservationists and researchers and organizations are, are starting to realize that we need to do this in a more non-invasive way. Also this way we can, we can gather information about animals that are very, very elusive. So my hope for this amazing species is that we can save them, that we're not going to lose them and that my project will play a small part in it. There are many, many amazing organizations that are working on the ground to save the cheetah. So although these cheetah are really popular and they are magnificent species, they are unfortunately vulnerable in the wild. So it's really important we do everything we can to conserve them and safeguard them for the future.